Joining us now, mm. Republican Senator from Maine, Susan Collins, and Democratic Senator from Washington, Maria Cantwell. They are introducing a new bipartisan energy bill that claims it will reduce America's reliance on offshore drilling. We're going to get to that in a moment, uh, but first, uh, Senator Collins and then Senator Cantwell, should uh, McChrystal be fired? Well, I think, given his extraordinary service, that the president's doing the right thing by hearing from the general first. What surprised me most about the general's totally inappropriate comments is he's such a disciplined person. So this is totally out of character. He has served our country well, but the president's going to have to weigh whether the director comments that McChrystal made about his commander-in-chief and about the vice president and others warrants removing him at a critical time. Yeah. Hard choice. Senator Cantwell, uh, should uh, the president fire Stanley McChrystal? Well, the president knows that his main objective is to make sure that we have progress in Afghanistan and to meet the goals that he's outlined. So he has to decide whether um, McChrystal is going to be the leader of that effort or not, and whether what's transpired and the, not just the comments, but the overall attitude, the overall uh, working environment, and the team that Afghanistan's mission is with all the various parties can move us forward because we obviously want to get our troops home. We want Afghanistan to be a more stable country. And we want more regional participation in helping to stand it up. Let me, let's ask, uh, let's talk about the CLEAR Act. Um, how does this break our dependency on foreign oil? Well, it does something very simple. It says, let's start with a gradual reduction of getting off of fossil fuel. But unlike other proposals that basically have a lot of allowances for historic polluters, we say have a simple auction and give a rebate back to consumers so that they are protected during this process from high energy costs. Uh, Susan Collins, how is this better than John Kerry's plan? It's better than John Kerry's plan in a host of ways. First of all, it rebates 75% of all the revenues to the American people. That holds harmless low-income households, middle-income households. That is an important difference. Second, it has 100% auction of all the allowances. No special deals for special interests. It's a lot more straightforward and simpler in its approach and most important other than the rebate provision it doesn't create this great big new carbon market that would be subject to speculation and volatility in the price of carbon we actually not only limit trading but we also have what's known as a price collar to avoid the volatility in prices so yeah. that businesses can plan invest and create new jobs hey uh, uh, senator Cohen. Collins, let me ask you this question, because you have been swimming against the tide as a Republican, a moderate Republican in Maine, despite uh, stupid things that Southerners like me say from time to time that make New Englanders go, what the hell? Why, why, why is she still a Republican? Um, does Joe Barton speak for the Republican Party? Should they not uh, bump that guy from uh, being the ranking member of energy since he's the most powerful Republican on the House side when it comes to energy and environmental matters? Well, clearly, his remarks apologizing to BP are inexplicable. I mean, I just can't understand what moved him to say that. But as far as his position in the House, I'm very happy to leave that up to the no, House okay. leadership. Uh, correct. Good, good answer. And Senator Cantwell, quickly, uh, is President Obama doing everything that he can do to address the BP spill, or did he defer to BP for too long? Well, we're going to have a hearing next week on the Coast Guard subcommittee about how we can expedite the technology process. Obviously, knowing and understanding the Pensacola economy, you know how important it is that we have the best technology to assist us in the cleanup. Right. And so we got to make sure we're getting the, the solutions out there did, more did the, did the president defer to BP for too long? I don't know. I, I think what what you need to have in a crisis like this, uh, so much focus was put on the cap. 
we also have to have the urgency on the cleanup side. And I think the president understands that. And we have to now, I think, look at all these solutions. We've seen great progress, right. but we need to do more. All right, Senators all right. Cantwell and Collins, thank you very much. Uh, best of luck to you. And Thanks a lot. Right here.